lovely humans, it is Lou here for Simply Crochet Magazine and in today's video we are going to be diving into the Hook and Land project in association with Skypeers Yarn. If you'd like to join us in a wider community sort of sense and link arms with us as we hook away at this fabulous project then you can do so by joining us in the Facebook group. We'd love to hear from you and be updated on how you're getting on and if you do have any problems myself and a few other members of the Simply Crochet team will be there to help if needs be. So without further ado let's do this thing. So for today's tutorial we are going to be looking at a puff stitch for issue 75 of Simply Crochet magazine. For this tutorial you will need Skype your Stonewash XL in the shade Morganite which is this fabby peach colour and you will need a 5.5 millimeter hook which for those of you in the United States is an I or a 9. So as stated in the pattern in issue 75, you will be starting off with a chain of 24, followed by a row of double crochet stitches. So when you're ready to create your puff stitch, you are going to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and you're going to do this to the height of a treble crochet, and this is to ensure that it doesn't bunch up too much. You're then going to yarn over, Insert your hook in that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, again to the same height, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch for a third time, and yarn over, and pull up a loop. And then you're going to do it for a fourth time, so yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Then what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over, and you are going to pull through all nine loops on your hook. You're then going to chain one, which is going to kind of move you along and close off that lovely puff stitch. You're going to skip the next stitch and you're going to do the same again. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop to the height of a treble crochet stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook yarn over, pull up a loop, and then you'll do it for a fourth time, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and with the nine loops on your hook you are then going to yarn over and pull through all of them at the same time. And again you are going to close that off with another chain stitch, you are going to skip a stitch and then work another puff stitch into that one. So you are going to carry on that same pattern all the way to the very end of this row and then we will meet back here for the final stitch. So once you get to the end of your row you are going to be left with one stitch to work into from the previous row and in here you are going to be inserting a treble crochet stitch. So that's your finished row of puff stitches and they are super cute and in this colour they are very reminiscent of some sort of beautiful seashells or something like that. So there are so many wonderful projects you can do using this fab stitch. So you're going to be repeating these two rows until you reach the height stated in issue 75 and then you are done with your puff stitch square and you can add it to your lovely sampler blanket. So as always, thank you so much for coming and spending this time with me. I very much appreciate it because I quite like you. I think you're all right anyway. I can deal with you in small doses. And if you do have any issues with the pattern whatsoever, please get in touch by leaving a comment below. You can send us a message. You can get in touch with us through Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. We are everywhere. In the meantime, from myself and the rest of the Simply Crochet team, we love you very much and we will see you very soon for another video. Bye.